is really good. We are back. We did indeed get more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news during the Nintendo Direct today in the form of a brand new trailer in which they showed a whole bunch of brand new details, uh, including the Lycanroc Zemu that we saw earlier leaked in Koro Koro. So this is awesome. They've actually shown some things that they've never ever done before in the sequel or third edition of a game before. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run through all the details very quickly. So apparently, first and foremost, the rock rough that you get distributed to your game depends on the version. So this is the event Lycanroc that you get that evolves into the Dusk form Lycanroc uh, and they vary by which version you have. If you have Pokemon Ultra Sun, your Lycanroc will know Tackle, Bite, Fire Fang, and Happy Hour. Now Happy Hour is pretty significant because if you use the Happy Hour, it's the equivalent of giving your uh, Lycanroc basically a plus one stat boost in every single stat. So uh, he has that option now, which is pretty cool. But if you get a Pokemon Ultra Moon, he will just know instead of Fire Fang, he'll know Thunder Fang. So basically they're giving these Pokemon an electric type move and a fire type move and happy hour. So that's pretty cool. I think happy hour is the main focus here because I'm pretty sure, actually I'm not quite sure if the Lycanroc um, forms already got Fire Fang and Thunder Fang and stuff like that. But Happy Hour is the main focus here for me because competitively that move is pretty good because you can boost all of your stats at once if you have the uh, right Z Crystal on it. Um, so they are both gonna be level 10 and have a focus band attached. But that's not really the bulk of the news here, people. We have a whole bunch of screenshots, a whole bunch of footage, a whole bunch of things people noticed in this trailer to talk about here. So this is gonna be a pretty detailed breakdown you will not find this content anywhere else on the internet people so subscribe to the show <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> well you should definitely subscribe but i'm going to be going through in great detail on some of the stuff that i've seen and noticed okay so first off the english names for the ultra sun and ultra moon mascots which we learned in japanese were called necrozma mane of twilight and necrozma wings of dawn in english are called dusk mane necrozma and dawn wings necrozma so there we have the english names dusk mane and dawn wings so uh, obviously those are going to correspond to whichever uh, game you get. But aside from that, we have some brand new screenshots. In the trailer, they showed a clip of Necrozma literally snatching Solgaleo or Lunala and fusing with it. So it seems that Necrozma has some sort of power over these two, clearly, because of the way he treats them. He treats them like they're just not, you know, they're not even important. He just snatches them up and that's the end of it. I'd show the actual trailer in here. Um, but one of my videos actually got blocked worldwide. It was the uh, Coma O video, and it was because it had clips of the trailer in it. So I'm not going to include any clips of the trailer in it in this video unless I turn them around. Um, but either way, it's very interesting to see how Necrozma interacts with uh, Solcalio and Lunala. He literally just pretty much just snatches them up from where they're standing and then fuses with them, takes their attacks and stuff. So that's that. Uh, but here we have a first in Pokemon history, people. The third edition or the sequel of a game literally has brand new Pokemon. We have brand new Pokemon from scratch here, people. This has never been done. Uh, Crystal version didn't have new Pokemon. Black and White 2 didn't have new Pokemon. They had new fusions and stuff, but they were already from existing Pokemon. These are brand new Pokemon straight up. And they're called UB Burst, which is only found in Sun version or Ultra Sun version. And UB Assembly, which is only found in Moon version or Ultra Moon version. So these are two brand new Ultra Beasts. I don't know if there'll be more, but I'm really, really liking UB Burst. He he has like a kind of a quirky, uh, like a Kung Fu type style, it seems. He it seems to be like some kind of fighting type, maybe. Um, so I really just love his design. He looks really, really cool. And I like how he throws the thing on top of his head and uh, it explodes into Dippin' Dots. So I'm calling this UB Dippin' Dots from now on. I don't care what his actual name is. His name is Dippin' Dots to me. This is Dipping Dots the Pokemon, all right? You heard it here first. Anyways, the other UB that you find in Ultra Moon seems to be a combination of a bunch of different Pokemon. So a little bit like Zygarde, I'd say, you know, in description at least, not, not, not apparent at all, obviously. But Zygarde is actually made of a bunch of different cells. This Pokemon also seems to be made of a, of a bunch of different parts just like that. Because you can see during the uh, trailer, you'll see that its eyes are like flipping over and stuff. And the fact that, um, it seems to be, you know, just like a, a powerhouse of different parts all connected. So I think that Pokemon's also cool. This Pokemon's probably going to be a massive tank. It literally looks like a brick wall. Um, I'm very curious to see what type, you know, what types these Pokemon are. 
uh, especially because the UBs usually have typings that don't really make any kind of sense, you know, based on their appearance. Like nobody, nobody could possibly have known that Nihiliga would have been rock and poison, right? So I'm very, very curious to see what type these uh, Pokemon are when we get to that, you know, point in the game or whatever. Um, next, we have a special artwork of Lycanroc using its Z move, which has a new name in English. It's called Splintered Storm Shard. So in Japanese, it's called something completely different. It's called Radio Edge Storm in Japanese, but in English, it's called Splintered Storm Shards. Uh, and it seems to have not been strong enough in the trailer to kill this Tapu Koko, which is unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose just to, you know, just to show that the side effect is that it removes terrain, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, I really want to see how people utilize that. Uh, and not just that, we have uh, proof that all Lycanroc forms can actually use this Z move. So it's not just the Dusk form, it's every single one. So Lycanroc did indeed get a brand new Z move specifically for himself. Uh, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So it seems to be a lot of focus on Lycanroc. Um, I don't know if the story is going to involve him at all, but I guess we'll see. Uh, and they also showed artwork for the um, Z Crystal, which, you know, doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, we have some screenshots from the trailer. Um, How and Lusamine are with us in the game. So, of course, Lily and Nebby are also going to be returning in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I really want to see what Nebby's, um, you know, what Nebby's uh, role is in this game. Because in the other game, basically, he was just, you know, he was a very important Pokemon. And he actually ended up turning into Lunala or uh, Solgaleo, the one that we actually caught in the game. But it just seems that, you know, the Nebby, the Nebby thing was a little weird last game. So I want to see how they do it in this game. So it does seem like uh, Lily is still here with us. Um, and then they also showed some UI. Uh, we have, you know, the home menu. We have, you know, the, the actual menu where you look at the items. We have the starter menu when you uh, go into the game. So that's a little different. There are no badges shown on this, which is, you know, people were assuming they might bring the gems back, including myself. I, I definitely pointed out that all those places that um, uh, were being built in uh, Alola could have been future gems. So I'm not really too surprised to see that there aren't any badges on the continue screen. But I'm not gonna rule that out quite yet. That could easily be added. There is space at the bottom for another slot. Maybe if you do get your first badge, it'll appear there. Not only that, but this is clearly very, very early in the game. There's only an hour of playtime, and he only has two Pokemon in his Pokedex. So I don't think we should rule out the badges and the gyms quite yet. Also, we might not even get badges for beating the gyms. Maybe we'll get something else. We don't know. Usually you want to check your trainer card for stuff like that. Not really the home menu, but we, like I said, we have no clue what's going to happen in this game yet. Uh, and then somebody noticed on Twitter that Mantine seems to be a ride Pokemon, uh, which is pretty cool. I don't know if this is the new surfer or the new dive. I don't know if there, you know, there's a dive type thing in the game. Um, I don't know. But Mantine seems to be a new ride Pokemon. So if we have new ride Pokemon, that could be pretty cool. You know, um, I, I did enjoy riding around on Tauros and uh, Mudsdale and stuff like that. Um, but I wouldn't mind having some new Pokemon to ride on. Those would be, you know, that, that's just a slightly different thing that would make things, you know, fresh, feel fresh. The last thing they detailed in the trailer was the fact that if you buy um, Pokemon Silver or Pokemon Gold on Virtual Console, you will be able to add Celebi into your Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games directly from there. So that's pretty cool as well. They'll give you a code, I believe, for those, uh, you know, for the Celebi to be added into your game. So that's cool as well if you like Celebi. I think it's cool. I haven't seen Celebi in a long time in Pokemon battles pretty much anywhere. So I'm excited to be able to use the Celebi in my game. Absolutely. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's all I have for today, guys. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And we will be back with more news when there is more news to be talked about. All right. Trap Catcher merchandise in the description. Make sure you guys cop that if you guys uh, are looking forward to Trap Catching the mixtape. Pokemon themed mixtape that I'm putting together for you guys specifically. So, um, yeah, I am out of here, guys. I love you all. Make sure you have a wonderful night. I'm going to be streaming again uh, probably around 9 or 10 Eastern time. So come through if you guys want to, uh, you know, talk about the direct. I'm going to be playing Pokemon Showdown most likely. So uh, maybe you guys can get in some battles with me as well. Uh, but anyways, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys later. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Goodbye.